All right, here we go. Time for the next round of Amazon purchases. These are things that I have bought uh, for to upgrade the trailer, to do any electrical work, that kind of thing. So first up is the, I bought this 120 piece uh, electrical heat shrink wire connectors uh, because I use these to connect up all my light switches and lights and things of that nature. So you never have enough of these. I will put all the links in the description below. Okay, next up is, because I like to do some video recording and, uh, um, and pictures, I have a Canon M50 camera is what I use. And this is a, the adapter that allows you to hook up to a portable USB power so that you're not tied to stuck in at home or the little tiny batteries like you see right here um, this will give you a lot longer life all right next up I did buy a spare battery for my Canon camera the M50 which if you are doing audio recording or video recording uh, blogging that kind of thing the M50 is a great camera to use it is awesome okay it is the best user-friendly camera for beginners that in that I have used or ran across uh, next up what I bought was some of this shock cord because I put in some new shelving and I'm trying to figure out the best way to keep my uh, everything from sliding off the shelves so if you have a great idea for how to keep that from happening uh, please leave a comment in, down in the section below and but uh, this is my idea for now I'm gonna see how it goes I ordered red and black uh, since I'm always doing electrical work and things of that nature and rerunning wire uh, it helps to do some 3m zip tie connectors so that that way you're not drilling into the frame or the wall as much even though it does come with screws I'm prefer to use the 3m tape to do any zip tying and that kind of thing I'm trying to avoid uh, drilling into the trailer as little as possible or as much as I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible okay since I run a lot of electrical cables and things of that nature I bought some cable cord to help protect those cords it's a wire loom braid sleeve that you slide your cords into and then it comes with heat shrink so that you can make it nice and pretty and everything looks all professional just like like you see in this picture here that's what I'm doing just to keep keep it nice and clean looking okay next up is I did buy two fans uh, one of these will probably go to in the back of the trailer and I will post a video of all of that later on um, but this is to help keep the Alpicool refrigerator cooler uh, colder keep the air down in other words and then I'm going to probably put one of these in the tongue box up in the front for the battery during the summer to keep it cool as well Let's see what else next up um, since I was doing some shelving I bought some shelf uh, extensions to help slide a tray out that kind of thing I haven't figured it all out 100% but I'm still working on it but if you are gonna do some shelving this is the great these are the bottom mount shelves I did buy some side mount shelves for the uh, I'll be cool refrigerator already and I will post a video for that as well show you what that looks like coming up soon Okay, uh, I did buy some extra 12 volt connectors because you never know where and when you might need to wire some in. So I have some spares. So I just decided to buy some extras. And the same with a, and this one actually, this USB uh, charger and outlet, 12 volt outlet is actually gonna go in the back of the trailer so that I can hook up my refrigerator to this um, but it, uh, and I'm going to wire this one so that it has a separate circuit versus um, both of these tied together because typically they tend to 
uh, hook them up like this with the you know ground 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 you can do together but I want a separate wire because I'm going to be running my refrigerator on a separate line <clears throat> so it doesn't um, so it has its own fuse panel or fuse in it in its circuit and that way that doesn't affect the USB charging at all so that's that and there'll be a, there'll be a video on that coming up soon as well and I just bought some fun lights that one of these I will use in the back to turn on and off the power sockets in the back of the trailer for charging and for to for the power for the um, cooler as well okay uh, now I found this great video online and they were talking about using these clips these are wire connector clips and basically they just clip open okay and you just run your wires in and you don't have to do any shrinking or anything of that nature crimping or any of that all you see is it just clips in so far they seem to have been working pretty well I mean I've installed it so you don't have to do all this tape stuff and soldering and and all of that you just literally uh, strip your wire and then slide it in and clip it down now you can tape it up uh, and I'll do another video on this soon as well but uh, it seems to work pretty well as, as to so if you're going to run a lot of wires this might be the best way to do it especially if you're doing a lot of junction uh, connections that kind of thing where you're sharing uh, ground and not, that kind of stuff which uh, I redid my wiring recently in the trailer uh, when I was installing the new shelves and I decided to install a new bus bar at the front that way uh, instead of it running in the one connection I had which was just a jury rig uh, I'm gonna run it a little more professional so all of my but a negative will go on one side all the positive coming in will go on the other unless I need to run a separate line specifically for a specific connection otherwise I'm going to be using the bus bar next up uh, this was just an idea for a temperature controller to create my own little heating fan and I haven't really decided what to do with this thing yet so for, for now it's just sitting in the box <laughs> Uh, there is a video on out on YouTube uh, that will tell you what these things are for so be sure to check those out and this was the heater slash fan that I bought to go with it with that switch on the last section it basically allows you to create your own nice little um, 100 watt 12 volt heater now you have to do a little configuration and that's what that temperature controller box was for uh, the only thing I don't really know right off hand which I haven't figured out yet is what's the amp sw uh, fuse I need for this particular one I believe it's a 15 amp circuit okay um, and there's a formula to figure out what your amps are by dividing the watts by the volts or the volts divided by the watt the watts I forget what it is I'll have to look it up anyway but this was just an idea to create a instead of running a beyond shore power I could at least create my own little heater to at least warm the trailer up because you know as you know with the runaway campers they're not that big so you don't need a big huge heater okay to warm the place up and keep it warm so this is what an, my idea was that I'm I will do this and I'll see if it, it actually works anyway that's all of the Amazon purchases I have this time and that's a lot but uh, if you see anything you like please feel free to shoot me a comment I will put links to all of these items in the description below I do not make any money off of these I am NOT an affiliate of Amazon or any of that kind of stuff these are just things that I have bought that I use or need in my upgrades that I'm doing on my trailer if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line. I'd be glad to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.